Software security is growing in importance as software vulnerabilities are increasingly being used as attack vectors to breach internal systems. In 2020, Forrester reports that 42% of organizations blame software vulnerabilities as the cause for external attacks conducted against them. The report also revealed that 33% of vulnerabilities in application systems originated from open source code and components. Due to the benefits of using open source software such as cost effectiveness, transparency, speed, open source software has been widely adopted by organizations. Thus, vulnerabilities originating from these software may have far-reaching consequences, as seen in prominent cases such as Heartbleed and Shellshock. To improve application security, gray box mutational-based fuzzing is one of the most effective and practical approaches for vulnerability detection. But firstly, what is fuzzing? The core idea of fuzzing is to throw different kinds of inputs at an application to elicit unexpected behavior such as a crash. In this project, we focused on American Fuzzy Lock AFL, one of the most popular state-of-the-art open-source fuzzer. Along with its many spin-offs such as AFL Fast and AFL Smart, they have detected vulnerabilities in over hundreds of projects. Given a set of inputs, a gray box mutation-based fuzzer adds them into a queue, modifies them slightly based on various mutation strategies and tests them on the program. Using lightweight code instrumentation, code coverage data on all inputs are obtained which is used as feedback by the fuzzer. Inputs that explored new state transitions are considered interesting test cases and are added back into the queue. This cycle then repeats by using the next entry in the queue. Thus, as the process continues, the fuzzer will progressively explore and test basic blocks deeper in the code until it is stopped by the user. Overall, this process reduces repetition in its test cases which makes the fuzzer very efficient. Despite the success gray box fuzzing has at discovering critical vulnerabilities, it has certain limitations. Firstly, the fuzzing workflow contains manual processes which decreases the overall efficiency. In particular, manual crash triaging can be extremely tedious and time-consuming as fuzzing can generate a significant number of crashes. Secondly, there are no existing tools for statistical analysis of the performance of fuzzers. This hinders the performance evaluation of fuzzers and prevent prototype fuzzers to be compared against state-of-the-art fuzzers. Thirdly, there is a lack of reliable conclusions on the performance of various fuzzing techniques. Lastly, as both white hats and black hats can utilize these vulnerability discovery techniques, there is a race between both sides to patch or exploit the discovered vulnerabilities. To address these issues, the project accomplished the following objectives. Firstly, the automated crash analyzer and test case optimizer was developed to greatly accelerate the fuzzing workflow. Secondly, we developed a visualizer that can generate highly configurable and interactive visualizations from fuzzing performance data. Thirdly, tests were performed to evaluate the performance of state-of-the-art fuzzing techniques. Lastly, fuzzing was conducted on open source libraries and applications to discover and ethically disclose vulnerabilities. For the test case optimizer, it merges test case redundancy elimination and test case size minimization into a single process while utilizing parallelization to improve optimization performance. This reduces the amount of work especially when dealing with many test cases. Next, the automated crash analyzer was developed to accurately classify crashes and mapping them to unique bugs. This can help automates a significant part of the crash triaging process. Next, to address problem 2, we developed a visualizer which takes in a TOML file. This file contains configurations for the visualizer such as the confidence interval, y-axis scales and x-axis time incrementation. The visualizer then reads the configuration file and performs the appropriate statistical analysis on the data files to generate visualizations. For problem 3, we evaluated four fuzzing techniques on 12 open source programs. The selection of these programs was aimed at obtaining a sample set with diverse functionalities and varying types of inputs. This is done to represent a wider range of programs. The main metric used in this evaluation is the mean edge number which tracks the number of transitions between basic blocks. The number of unique bugs was also used as a secondary metric. Overall, considering the findings from the mean edge coverage comparison and number of unique bugs, the results suggest that AFL Fast and AFL Fast with MOPT performs better than the other techniques.
Before we start fuzzing, a methodology for fuzzing was developed which incorporates the tools developed in the report, the evaluation of fuzzing techniques, and current best practices. The methodology can be broken down into the following six stages. Using this methodology, fuzzing was conducted on six open source libraries. The main objective was to contribute to open source community by discovering security vulnerabilities in these projects. To minimize the damages that could be caused by vulnerability discovery, a responsible disclosure approach is adopted. This means that contact is first established with the vendor of the affected program, allowing them to verify and patch vulnerability before the information on the vulnerability is released to the public. Overall, 37 vulnerabilities were found in 6 programs and 4 libraries. 11 CVEID requests are currently pending review. To conclude, in this project, we have developed tools to greatly increase the efficiency of the fuzzing process. Developed a visualizer which automate visualization generation which can ideally promote additional benchmarking of fuzzing techniques by other researchers. Conducted our own evaluation of various fuzzing techniques. Created a fuzzing methodology which integrated tools and information gathered in the project. And lastly, conducted fuzzing on six open source libraries to help discover and disclose vulnerabilities.